So it was agreed that they would start the next morning, which incidentally turned out cold and misty. Pooh, as usual, had a little something along to sustain himself. <coughs> now, as Digger kept bouncing farther and farther into the mist, Rabbit thought it was a good time to lose Digger. Now is our chance. Quick, in here, hide. Digger's lost now, isn't he, Rabbit? <laughs> oh, he's lost, all right, Piggly. <laughs> oh, goody. This is lots of fun, fool. <laughs> <laughs> My splendid idea worked. Now, now home we go. <laughs> Good. Yum, yum. <laughs> it's time for lunch. Hello! Oh, my goodness. Hide. Hello! That's funny. He must be lost. Hello! Hey, you blokes! Where are you? Hello. Shush. I am shushed. Hey! Where in the heck are you guys? Hello? <laughs> Rabbit? Piglet? Where are you? Hello? Hooray! Hooray, we done it! <laughs> now, come on, hurry. Let's head for home. Well, Rabbit was certain that everything was going according to plan, and so it seemed to be. But sometime later, on the bottom of page 123... Hmm. It's a funny thing how everything looks the same in the mist. He's right, Piglet. It's the very same sand pit. I think so, too, Pooh. Well, it's lucky I know the forest so well, or, or, or we might get lost. Well, come on, follow me. Now, Pooh was getting tired of seeing the same sandpit, and he suspected it of following them about. Because whichever direction they started in, they always seemed to end up at it. Doggone. Rabbit? Yeah? Uh, say, Rabbit, how would it be if as soon as we're out of sight of this old pit, we just try to find it again? Well, what's the good of that? Well, you see, we keep looking for home, but we keep finding this pit, so I just thought that if we look for this pit, we might find home. Uh, I don't see much sense in that. If I walked away from this pit and then walked back to her, of course I should find it. I'll prove it to you. Wait here. So Pooh and Piglet waited in the mist for Rabbit. And they waited, and waited, and waited. And all the while, Pooh's thoughts kept returning to his honey pots at home. What, what, what was that, Pooh? <laughs> My tummy rumbled. Now then, come on, let's go home. But, Pooh, do you know the way? No, Piglet, but there are 12 pots of honey in my cupboard, and they have been calling to my tummy. They have? Yes, Piglet. I couldn't hear them before because Rabbit would talk. I think I know where they're calling from, so come on, we'll just follow my tummy. Well, they walked off together, and for a long time, Piglet said nothing, so as not to interrupt Pooh's honeypots. <laughs> 